So my intention is a Namibian company that specializes in STEAM education, which uh -huh. is science, technology. Say that again? Uh, STEAM education, uh -huh. which uh, then STEAM is an acronym for science, technology, uh -huh. engineering, uh -huh. arts, and mathematics. Wow. 99 FM, you're still listening to MOOCs in the morning. And today we've got something interesting for you. We've got an interview. Um, today we're looking at Minds in Action prides itself as a space where students can explore science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics through exciting hands-on activities. Additionally, offering ICT and engineering science, uh, Minds in Action was established in August 2017 by two science fair partners, uh, um, by two science fair partners, Andreas Leo, uh, Leonard, to bridge the science gap uh, for various students in Namibia. We are joined by Mu Mulundi Leni this morning to tell us more about the business. My brother, good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. For the viewers that are just listening, can you give us your name once more, nice and clear? Okay, so my name is Ndaudika, Ndaudika Mulundi Leni. Ndaudika, good morning, my brother. How are you? I'm all right. Tell us a little bit about uh, Minds in Action. Okay, so Minds in Action is a Namibian company that specializes in STEAM education, uh -huh. which is science, technology. Say that again? Uh, STEAM education, uh -huh. which uh, then STEAM is an acronym for science, technology, uh -huh. engineering, uh -huh. arts, and mathematics. Wow. So okay. the idea is that um, in, in school, learners are exposed to science as a mm -hmm. separate subject from mathematics, from arts, from engineering. Uh -huh. But we are trying to uh, do is to have them see the links, the connections. How can science be applied to engineering? How can ah. mathematics link to arts and technology so that they can be able to come up with something? Because mm -hmm. uh, mathematics on its own, uh, you cannot really come up with a product. But when you apply mathematics to technology or to engineering, that's when you be able to make a product. Got you. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us, how did, wh what motivated you to start this business? Okay, so uh, I uh, grew up in Ongwediva, uh -huh. uh, that's in northern Namibia. Gotcha. So um, growing up, I was really curious about technology, but mm -hmm. mostly about how things work. And I was also um, curious about how do we consume so much technology, yeah. but we make none. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. gotcha. So um, uh, after that, uh, after high school, mm -hmm. I went to study engineering, mechatronics oh, okay. engineering at the University of Cape Town. And then I realized that these skills are actually uh, doable, yeah. uh, especially if we change the method of uh, mm -hmm. learning. That's why we introduced the hands-on learning. So you uh -huh. are not learning all the theory, but you're actually applying the knowledge. Uh -huh. And Got then you. through knowledge application, you can actually be able then to come up with something. Uh -huh. and become a maker so that we don't uh, remain mere consumers of technology, but we should be able to produce technology. Gotcha. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the students. Who are your students? Uh, is it grade 11, grade 12, <laughs> grade 6 year olds, 7 year olds? Who are they? So the mission for Minds in Action mm -hmm. is to make STEAM education accessible. Uh -huh. So accessible to children in primary school. Okay. Uh, so starting at the age of 7. Okay. Uh, we uh, also cater for secondary school learners. And recently, uh, to our surprise, we have uh, got a large pool of uh, university students flowing in. Wow. Because they too are learning the theory. They uh -huh. don't have the much practicals in their universities. Mm -hmm. They are coming to Minds in Action to learn hands on. I, I get you, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Well, there you hear it. We'll sti we are still in the studio with Moduleni as he breaks down about uh, Minds in Action and what it is. So we will be back in a jiffy. 99 FM Mooks in the studio in the morning and we're still in the studio chatting to Mulundi Leni about all things Minds in Action. Um, brother man, you're speaking uh, about offline. Uh, do you offer any certificates and so forth regarding your program? Can you just break that down for us a little bit? Uh, yes, we do offer a completion certificate. Uh -huh. So okay. we offer a range of modules. Mm -hmm. It takes uh, eight weeks to complete one module. Uh -huh. And that goes for a price of 1,600. Uh -huh. So after eight weeks, the learner gets a certificate and has an option to move on to the next module. Gotcha. So the first module is an introductory level where learners are introduced to robotics and coding. Uh -huh. So that means they learn how to control 
motors, how to get input from sensors, mm -hmm. and then um, how to actually use code to be able to make a, a decisions. A decision. Yeah. So um, after that, they move on to um, electronics, where they use the Arduino Uno microcontroller to be able to still uh, get input from sensors and control motors Aye. and so on. Aye. And then we also have courses in 3D printing. Uh, we have uh, uh, courses in mechatronics huh. and then also science experiments where learners can just experiment with chemistry and so, physics. So you are saying we can, uh, students can be in the lab with the jackets, you know, like in the movies, yeah. and hands-on uh, play with uh, the chemicals and all stuff like that? Yes, our courses huh. are very hands-on. Like, uh, there is like very little theory at all. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the theory is there to explain the concepts, Correct. but uh, the, the actual work is done by the learners they are actually self-learning they are learning through play so it's not like a very serious environment yeah it's they are just uh, uh, learning and they are having fun i like that yeah. um what are some of the success stories of minds in action that you, you can share with us today okay so you mentioned uh, like uh, uh, correctly that we um have uh, several uh, services that we offer. Uh -huh. So uh, that is through three departments that we have. The first one is the STEAM that focuses on the training. Gotcha. Some of the success stories uh, is that uh, we were able to actually uh, expose over 1,800 learners for the past uh, four years. 1,800? Yes. yes, and wow. one of uh, the um, uh, different program that we offered, we offered it in the Kunene region. Uh -huh. So it, it's a school called Orumana uh, Combined School, mm -hmm. in, uh, in uh, just close to Opo. So there we found children who um, were uh, like traditionally they were not never exposed to computers or anything like that. Yeah. And then we exposed them to the Minds in Action STEAM program where they learned how to use a computer wow. but not necessarily as uh, the operation of the computer itself but using it as a tool to be able to code to those robots to. that they build Beautiful. so now they are learning these skills or the, the computer literacy on the background because they are not concentrated on the how the computer works yeah they are concentrated on how to be able to code the logic behind uh, the actual software no this is beautiful yes. man this is beautiful. yes um so in the that's the steam training okay. and then in the ict department mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, various coders who develop apps and one of uh, our success story in that uh, department is we developed the namibian constitution app which we developed for wow. a, a client called uh, conrad adenoa stuff tank uh -huh. Yes, and then uh, that app has been launched and it's available on App Store and Google Play. Beautiful, man. Yes. Beautiful. You guys are busy. Well, in conclusion, because of time, what are the goals uh, that you want? To, what are the goals that you have set for the business? And also, how can people get in touch with you? Yes. So, uh, our vision is to be able to uh, produce a generation of African makers. Come on. With the ability to identify problems in their communities and offer innovative solutions. Come on. So, uh, doing this, uh, we are actually at the beginning. We consider ourselves still a seedling. Mm -hmm. And then we envision to uh, go throughout Africa and be able to inspire uh the African generation to become makers uh -huh. and stop this uh, importing of all the technologies and we start exporting because they have a talent in Africa like really I've seen nice. it. Man. How can people get in touch with you? So we have a website which is mindsinaction.com.na and then uh, me, myself, Naudika Mulundileni, you can get me on 081 36 30 529. 081 36 30 529. Nice. Yes. And that was a conversation we had this morning for you with Mulundileni about all things minds in actions. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you want to know more about him, that's his socials, that's his numbers, and you can find out right here on 99FM. Expert advice on 99FM Startup, proudly brought to you by Namibia Asset Management.